But if you're into gambling on long range forecasts, you might have noticed some major conflicting information coming out right about now. Farmers almanacs are betting on a cold winter while the meteorologists say not so fast. Kent attempted to sort it all out for us this afternoon. When contradicting winter weather outlooks give you whiplash, it's helpful to seek out a scorekeeper. The old jokes about meteorologists being wrong half the time doesn't really apply to us because we're climatologists. We only tell you about what happened, so we're always right. Kenny Blumenfeld is kidding, but the DNR senior climatologist says our obsession with forecasting months into the future is no joke. Or is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? Is it going to be wet? Is it going to be dry? Is it going to be snow? over my head or is the ground going to be bare? That's always been really important information for folks. That helps explain why there is not one, but two old school sources of that info. This year, the Farmer's Almanac is predicting a cold winter with average snowfall, not to be mistaken for the old Farmer's Almanac and its call for cold while raising snowfall totals. But Kenny says look closer and the methods they list behind those forecasts are as suspect as their track record. Try and avoid secret formulas or black box forecasting. It's a popular resource, but there's nothing that we could verify. There's no way to know how they forecast what they forecast. If you're if you're interested in outlooks that can be verified, he says there is a clear choice. The Climate Prediction Center, which is part of NOAA, is the official climate forecasting entity for the federal government, and they've got the best scientists in the country and maybe even in the world doing it. But as someone who checks the accuracy of those forecasts, keep in mind. They're not right all the time. He says you only have to look back to the July outlook this year, which ended up missing the record heat that scorched the southwest just days after that forecast. Everyone thinks it'll be a mild winter and that seems to be the safest bet, but there is that three or four out of ten times where it goes the other way. Though if you play the percentages and factor in El Nino this year, he says he'll definitely side with the scientists. The last time I was right here, yeah. we were in the middle of a blizzard. 10.7 inches on the ground. Being inundated with some of that record snowfall. If you're gonna put money down right now, oh gosh, it'd be less than that, at least. Yeah, I mean, that was the third snowiest winter on record in the Twin Cities. One of the rules of climate betting, because we do this <laughs> informally, never bet for number one. You never bet on number one or number two, because our climate record is pretty long, so I'll go with yeah less snow than we had in the 2022-23 winter. And keep in mind, these seasonal forecasts were driven by demand and not by the scientists saying, hey, we can do this. Oh, well, there you go. Even if those long range predictions end up being somewhat accurate and get those averages, Kenny thinks winters tend to be remembered for their extremes anyway, because a major snowstorm or a cold snap really impacts our actual lives and he says those short events are not what any of these predictions are designed to predict. That's why he says it's so critical that Ben and our weather team are looking out for us every single day with more accurate forecasting.